today's video is a no makeup makeup look now this is me with literally no makeup but for the look you're gonna have to keep three areas in mind your eyebrows your eyes and your lips now these are the most important areas your cheeks basically actually for the rest of the thing you want your skin to be as bare as possible avoid using foundation I will give you guys a lighter option but avoid using anything on your skin as much as possible for this look now we're just gonna start with prepping the skin I like to pat my face and wake myself up then add some moisturizer on if you're also going to use SPF now would be the right time to use your SPF I'm not using any because the makeup I'm going to use will have SPF but also if you still have doubts on SPF or you want to know more about sunscreens check out the video I did last week I think so yeah just massage your cream in your moisturizer in get it all in there make sure your skin is nice and hydrated after your skin feels good you start with the makeup so the first area that we're going to focus on is the under eyes which are the worst part now there are various concealers that you can use there's the cream format there's the liquid format i particularly like the ones with the uh, like pen format like this one which have a wand so you just have to blend it in with that so we're going to start with this one just dot it on under and above the eyes and then blend it in with your ring finger I'm also going to add a bit more of the cream but yeah just if you want some more coverage right in that inner corner of the eye where you're, you have the worst dark circles this is very good for that. I'm also going to add some to the sides of my nose and my chin because I have a bit of a redness here so I like to put on a little bit of concealer and then just blend that in. Now I would ideally stop at this step for my uh, face but if you're looking for more coverage I would recommend something like this which is the Hera Black Cushion which I'm going to use. It has SPF. It's really really light. It doesn't really feel cakey at all and um, yeah it just looks like you're not wearing any makeup but it still gives you some coverage. Now coming back to the eyes we're going to use something neutral and light on the eyes. Very flesh toned just apply it all over the eyes just to give your eyes some depth it doesn't really need to be like you know a full-on eyeshadow situation just really light and just on the lids and then we are going to work on our eyebrows with the goof proof pencil and I am quite a goofball so um, I really really love this pencil it is my favorite eyebrow product now when they say goof proof it is really goof proof because the best part is that it you know when it, it spreads or you get a little bit extra out it just wipes off really easily which is what I love about the product so there's like no smudging and no like you know leftovers and then you just brush it through it just gives you the most amazing looking brows look at that then we're just gonna put this cream eyeshadow right under the brows this is just gonna highlight and pop the brows out a bit and now it's time for the most glamorous part curling of the lashes and making of the faces look at that wow i don't know what i was thinking there but okay I'm gonna move on just put on some mascara and yeah the ugly faces continue if you have a really bad makeup face like me please give this video a thumbs up and show me some encouragement because I really don't know what was going on here there I saw my own face and started laughing <laughs> so yeah just apply mascara on the top lashes and the lower lashes now I bring in my magic spoolie now this is the best thing when you want a natural no makeup look because it just brushes through your lashes to remove any clumps and it almost doesn't look like you're wearing mascara and it looks like your lashes are like all natural and fluffy and two steps out of our three are done now it's time to focus on the lips now a summer look is not possible without lip tints lip balms these are things that I use every single day. Now, I have a lot of lip tints and lip balms. My favorite lip tints are Benetint and the new Go Go tint. I'm going to show you two looks. So, first, we're going to go with Benetint, which is a natural, nice pink tint. Just really easy to apply and it lasts really long. Instantly, you can see the difference. I'm also going to layer this with my Burt's Bees lip balm in rose. This is my favorite, favorite lip shade. I do this a lot. But now I'm going to take this off. You can see even after it's off, you've still got pink lips. This is what I love about Benetton. So even when you're going for a swim or you're on the beach, it's perfect. But today we're going to try Go Go Tint, which is the new tint that they launched this year. And it is amazing. It's a lot more potent and a lot more vibrant than Benetton, but it is perfect for the summer. What do you think? 
I'm still gonna layer this with another lip balm as well. I love the layered look because the balm kind of hydrates your lips and the tint gives you the shade, which is what I love. Now, for that glow on your cheeks, those rosy, summery cheeks, you wanna just put on some Benetton, just make two crosses like that, and then just blend it with your fingers. Of course, make a fish face. <laughs> And now just put on some powder basically to anything that's going to get rid of your shine and sweat because it's summer and because it's going to be hot just use some of that and we're done what do you guys think sexy nah yeah love it don't love it so remember guys eyebrows eyes and lips that's all you need to focus on so if you like the look, make sure you give it a thumbs up and comment below with what you want to watch next in terms of makeup looks. And I will see you guys soon. Bye. Mwah.